For years now, winemakers have been craving for rapid on-site, user-friendly, reliable detection technology for viable bread yeast, so that they do not have to wait more than seven days for plate count results to know whether the wine aged is contaminated or not by viable breads. Meanwhile, bread yeast continue multiplying, reaching critical levels of volatile phenols production, spoiling definitively contaminated wines unsuitable for sale, with yearly financial losses estimated for the wine market industry in millions of dollars. Rapid detection methods for breads such as PCR have proved deceitful. PCR or polymerase chain reaction analyze breads DNA. Dead breads as well as living breads keep their DNA inside the cell. During PCR, DNA is extracted as well from dead and viable breads. It is impossible to know the proportion of viable breads compared to dead breads. As a consequence, PCR is responsible for many unnecessary false alarms for the winemaker, who already has a lot to do with real bread contaminations. Polyphenols, tannins and other molecules of red wine are PCR inhibitors and may give misleading results suggesting the winemaker that no breads are there while breads are multiplying. It is also then not surprising that a large French enological laboratory serving more than 2,000 wine cooperatives in France is not using PCR methods anymore for quality audits and return to the traditional bread plate count method on Agamigo. At last, an innovative, reliable and user-friendly on-site alert tool is being launched, the Bread Alert. Adenosine triphosphate or ATP is a molecule produced by all living cells. Within 30 minutes, yeast ATP is differentiated from wine bacteria ATP in samples taken just above wine leaves, where the breads are at majority during wine aging, plus malolactic fermentation and plus sulfur dioxide addition phase. That majority of yeast present in wine leaves at this stage are Bretonomyces was confirmed in 2004 by Vincent Renouf and Aline Longo in the International Journal of Vine and Wine Science. As a result, the French Institute of Vine and Wine performed wine sampling for bread analysis always just above the leaves. There may be up to 1,000 times more viable breads in wine leaves than on wine surface. ATP, when in contact with lucifer and luciferase, emits luminescence as measured by a luminometer. Yeast intracellular ATP is only produced when yeast are alive. Measuring yeast ATP bioluminescence is therefore a good method to discriminate dead bread yeast from who's alive. Higher the luminescence, larger the size and number of viable bread yeast. Bread yeast are polymorphous. Some form clusters, long chains of pseudo hyphen. Others are very, very small. The nuisance potential depends not only on the number of viable breads, but also on their size. A very small bread and a bread in clusters or soda hyphen can be compared to two chemical plants producing the same toxic product 24 hours a day. But one has only one production line, meanwhile the other has 20 or 50 production lines. Larger the size of viable breads, higher the intracellular ATP production, and higher the ATP balancing signal of these viable breads will be too. Bread Alert is a sole technology enabling to measure total intracellular activity of all viable breads within the sample and thus estimate their potential risk of spoilage. What guarantees that Bread Alert is an alert tool for undesirable bread growth in the wine aging stage? Combining the right sampling technique just above wine leaves during wine aging post malolactic fermentation and post sulfur dioxide addition, while analyzing selectively yeast ETP without the numerous bacteria in wine leaves, makes it possible to be sure that ATP mainly detected is that of viable bread yeast, even if other minority yeasts are present. Any abnormal growth of yeast at this stage comes from viable breads. 
How does Bright Alert Kit work? Wine is first concentrated with a sampling syringe screwed to a cell concentrator containing inside a cuvette. The cell concentrator is unscrewed and cuvette is placed on its blotter pad holder. A flushing solution placed inside the cuvette is flushed through the bottom filter of the cuvette, allowing wine inhibiting substances to be absorbed by the blotter pad. Two analyses of the same sample are performed. First analysis will measure the luminescence background noise of the wine sample. Cuvette is inserted into the biluminator. A buffer is added and mixed with lucifer and lucifers. Biluminometer draw light is closed and luminescence of the background noise is measured. Each wine has its own luminescent background. With a second test, yeast ATP is analyzed. After flushing inhibiting substances to cuvette button filter, cuvette is placed into the wine alert sample preparation workstation. YLC reagent is brought into contact for a few minutes with yeast, mainly bread yeast present. This reagent releases ATP from yeast without releasing ATP from bacteria at that stage. Cuvette containing released ATP is inserted into the bioluminometer. Receive and receiver is added and its bioluminescence measured. Higher the yeast ATP bioluminescence compared to the background luminescence of the sample, greater the number and size of viable breads present. Proof of concept has been made and the mini field lab wine alert and its kit bread alert are available. Bread alert is the only bread alert tool that can be used by winemakers in the wine cellar, allowing immediate corrective action without waiting several days lab results, without risk of false alarms or false negatives results, letting winemakers believe that no breads are present, meanwhile they are multiplying. You may see how bread alert kit can be useful to you to monitor your wines during critical wine aging stage. But you want to see if Brett Alert is really able to discriminate wine aging samples really contaminated by viable breads from those who are not. Contact us or our regional partner for some positive negative sample taking. When samples will arrive in the lab, you will be able to assist with Skype to a video conference where live blind analysis of samples will take place. Or if you are not available, you will receive a video record of this analysis together with the analytical results by email.